He rides like the thunder at midnight, it said. His figure is lacking just one thing. A head. A head. A head. That guy just lost his head. You guys, my name's Pete. Welcome to It's a Creative Life, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we made that happen. So our head drop rig looks like this. And it really is only five pieces of metal. One, two, three, four, and then this main piece. This is all one continuous piece. For this bend, I did make a jig out of uh, plywood. And, uh, and basically what that means is I cut a circle uh, and I screwed that to my, uh, my, my shop bench and then I just bent the metal around the circle. You could almost do that with a big piece of PVC. There's a lot of different ways to bend metal. Um, and I'm using, one, I'm using half inch uh, round tube. It's weldable tube. And this is really great to use because it's very easily bent and I can make the rest of these bends just on my, my bench vise over here. And, uh, and so this bend right here on this uh, axis was just done on my uh, vise. I just put this part in the vise and then I just by hand torqued this thing down. And then I put a bending, which is really more like a kink. You can sort of see that it is just sort of kinked here. Uh, and that was uh, just so that it fit the shape of my actor. And then this thing is just uh, pinned and taped into the coat uh, that the actor uses. So here you see our actor wearing the apparatus with the jacket and we just taped it to the sides of the collar and then we used black gaffers tape to tape it into the back of the collar too. So every night we just taped this actor in. We didn't even sew it in, but you wouldn't have to do that. You could sew this into the costume too if you chose to. And then the actor lifts up on this. The apparatus mimics his shoulders and it just looks like his head drops down into uh, the opening of his coat. So, and then if, if he's a good actor, he can hold his head. You know, it's a great effect. Um, but I wanted to make this video because there's really nothing online that I could see. Uh, we had to kind of guess at how to make this, but this thing worked great. Uh, but there's nothing online showing a solid state version of this. Everything online is basically done for Halloween pranksters and they're just using hangers and sticks and things like that. So this is, uh, does take a little bit of know-how. Maybe all you really gotta know is rudimentary metal bending and uh, rudimentary welding. And you can put something like this together with five pieces of steel. Okay, so though it's not absolutely necessary, another thing that really helps sell the head drop is to have wider sleeve holes. And sometimes that takes some custom costume work. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we've, we've got some big armholes. We had to have Emily make these armholes big and deep so that there's a big circle here so that when, the, uh, when Joe does lift up on the rig, it, uh, it gives us room for the head to drop. So shoink, <laughs> just like that. So it took a special jacket and our customer had to really make these armholes like at least twice as big. Thanks, Joe. So there you go. Now you know how to make your head fall off for Halloween. Or you can make your head fall off in a play. Or you can just make your head fall off. Or maybe you're just happy enough knowing how it's done. This trick was used in the BLC theater production of Sleepy Hollow. And if you want to see that play in its entirety, I'll leave a link right up here. And we also have a video that's all about the behind the scenes and how we came up with the Legend of Sleepy Hollow script, which is now available for publication. And if you're interested in that, I'll leave another link up here for that too. Also check the description for any of those other links and I've got some answers there also. In the meantime, if you like this content, you guys, we try to do creative content on this channel all the time. We'd love it if you subscribed and joined. Uh, and until next time, my name's Pete and we'll see you later.